one of our Dream Team playthroughs, and this one has just been released. We're going to look at Deupa. The, I mean, what a name! Not my courses, friends' courses. Uh, from Trays, uh, formerly known as Jay Chantres, previous World Cup of Design champion, Dream Team two-time champion, um, and also the guy who set who set up and created this contest way back when. Um, we are back, yes. So we're going to look at this before probably anybody else does. Um, this one's been a really fun one to watch come together. Just, um, I think, based off Grey Walls, so Marquette, uh, which is a look that a number of people I know have tried to have a little look at over the course of um, previous contests. I think he's absolutely nailed it. So we're going to play this. Um, I think knowing Trey's, you know what to expect. So some of his courses, Le Bombier Bluffs, was uh, Berry Bay. They just roll off the tongue. Um, we had Resmando Match Club recently, um, and now we've got Dayupa. He was also part of Whiskey Dunes, so he created that with Wes, JW Texan. Um, so straight away you can see we've got, I mean, we'll try and hide the fact that it's the island plot, which he's done nicely with all the trees. Um, so let's zoom around a little and see what we've got. Now, straight away, one of the things that Trey's has started doing a lot more recently has been these angular fairways and greens and things, and he's just nailed them. They're really, like, quirky and fun and work really well. Um, crazy little grey, like, these rocky outcroppings are, like, the main hazard, I think, on the golf course. And it's, I believe it's bunkerless as well. You can see... Green complexes are going to be a lot of fun. We've got cart path going through, which is no mean feat because they're a bloody nightmare in this game. Um, and he's gone with the single tree approach, which he caught the earlier part of the stream. We played one of my recent ones, which has done the same thing. Actually, I think it works so well for creating big sight lines on this sort of a course. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're not going to go through all of it, but as you can see, there's a lot of planting down there. That's a wild hole. Yeah, we got some quirky stuff going on here. This should be a lot of fun. Right, what else do we want to have a little look at while we're here? Let's go and find the clubhouse, because Trey's usually does some good stuff with those. Yeah, as you can see, we've got no bunkers, no water. Uh, yeah. It's going to be pure ground game and just like creativity and things. Look at that clubhouse. Little mining, what what do we even call that? Mining company sort of thing. That's so cool. Got down here. <laughs> Little kegs in there as well, which is just a nice touch. That is very very cool. Overlooking the 18th green. We love that. Right, this should be a blast, I think. Let's go and have a little look. So starting off with a casual 515 yard par 4 way downhill. Massively wide fairway. So yeah, let's have a look at what we got. We've got rocky outcroppings on this side, so we can go left all we want. But actually, if we go left, we've got that. Is that going to run us way down here? And we'll... The fun thing about his geometric green is the runoff on either side means we got to be going at it from about this side as much as possible okay so pretty much straight on which therefore means clearing this as much as possible and clinging to the right hand side of the fairway interesting and it's going to be a long approach definitely in this wind well that's as good of a tee shot as we could hope for so loads of width options and yet it's not easy to hit the spot you want. Carbon Ute Mining Company. Yes, indeed it could be. And we got that kind of... Almost like the green being a hog's back spine is quite cool. So definitely don't want to be left. Really don't want to be right. I think short is not a bad miss. Short is absolutely fine. But I love that this green, like if we compare that with like 
some of the greens on the last course that we saw. Not a lot going on here. I don't think the strategy is any less effective. Just like really well thought out major slopes. Boom. That'll do nicely. That's how it works. Redan? Gotta be a Redan. Oh, no. Yes and no. That's a little, t it's a little twist on one. And this wind makes it really interesting. Rocky outcroppings coming way short. Look, just all kinds of good. And the space, like, I really like with this hold the space it's afforded. So, like, all of this space in between here, it's not empty. Because those little rocks just fill the space nicely. But it gives this kind of grand nature of it, even though it's actually not surfacing wise that big. Oh, it's hard to word. That's kind of what I mean. Uh, whatever we do, we can't be sure. Ending up long right is not the worst. I think we go with that. Then the wind hopefully brings it back. And if it brings it back, it brings it back into the slope and that takes it back down. Fingers crossed. Don't stay up there. Ah, oh, it's hitting the slope. As planned. Stuff I love about a trays course, you've you've always got a couple of slopes to like work a ball off at least. Or like there is always a miss. Oh, I just hammered that part. That's a shame. Should have been a birdie. What have we got with three? You know, me inter like the hardest thing about bunkerless courses is keeping the interest going and not doing the same thing every time. This one works. A green. Big spine at the front, big spine at the back. Yeah, is, this is awesome. Al already just loving it. <laughs> Wild mountains or sort of rocks here. Uh, yeah, there'll be some buried trees. Highlands doesn't do this without buried trees. You can you can scruff it up a little bit. It is done well though because they can burn out really easily as well. I mean, yeah, that's the sort of thing he does. Ah, sand wedge, normal. Uh, okay, a little bit of slope. Contours in the fairway are really nice. Let's get back to putter. The view. Because they're random, they're not they're not totally smooth, but they're not like we're looking at our lie grid. Like, they're not totally smooth, but they're not random. Yeah, I mean, a super sharp brush will do bits of it for you, but it would make like part of it go rocky. So kind of like here, like part of it goes rocky and part of it doesn't. To get it going wholly, like you do the super sh sharp brush and then you bury some trees usually. They're they're just a nightmare. You, they're very uncontrollable. There's also often like parts of the plot that do do it and parts of it that don't. Hey, stay right, stay right, stay right, damn it. So yeah, I don't think, it couldn't be anything else. Oh, putting again. Thrown away two strokes on the last two holes. Disappointing. 291, drive ball four. <laughs> that is a sucker pin if ever there was one. Okay. Let's just say that going for this is probably not prudent. I doubt it. No. You can play it. Just. Suicidal. 
I'm okay with that. I mean, people would walk down there to play a shot from there. Yeah. I mean, from here? I mean, probably in real life it would be OB, but I'm okay with it not being. Alright, what are we doing? I think we're laying way back. Oh, trays, you keep... This is... Just... Okay. Kind of want to lay back to 100 yards if I can. I think to there. I love that even then, the layup zones have been difficult. And I didn't see all of the movement on the fairway, and... Yeah, it is grey walls. I mean, I really should have looked at the forms before I started this, but oh well. Fine, I knew what both these guys were doing anyway. Ah, I didn't need the slow. Go, go a little. Well, it's not too bad. It's a really fun drivable par 4, because you can see people going for that and making eagle. Like, there's enough slopes here that can carry the ball to it. It's just, you go this side and you are screwed. 186 greens are hilarious. Love the view to the ocean down there. Of course. Look <laughs> at all the red. Okay, so we've got two pins in the swale, one at the back, one at the front. I mean, I guess the land called for it. Um, is that going to make it? You can go for this. It might have been. Come on back. They are. It's what he does. And that's a really good pin one position. Like it's not the dick punch beer, it's pin. The entertaining one gives you a chance at Purdy. Like, all of these pittons have been accessible. They've not always been easy, but they've been accessible. I like the staggered wall on this one. So again, I don't think we've had this so far. <laughs> Just another casual 515 yard par 4. And I think we might, it'll be interesting to see how people find this on different wins, but what you, and w if you can carry that or not, you've got a shorter club set. But green complex low to the ground, carriages are running short. This works, I see no reason why it wouldn't. Yeah, Q's got to be happy with these two courses. I mean, again, like, an accessible pin. It's not protected by stupid slopes. Thanks, Kenyon. And you reward with a pretty flat part. And actually, that's... Yeah, gotten away with it a little bit. But you could have played anywhere out here and you've got a decent putt at it. There goes another putt. I don't really have anything negative to say, and I'm is not through lack of trying. Just enjoying it. I mean there's some technical stuff. Like this this could be smoother. I'm also still not my only got one other thing that I've got is I'm not entirely sure I love the super bright green heavy rough. But I think the fairway and green colours work perfectly. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. It doesn't need them. Oh, Jeff's having a little round as well. Alright, come on, come back off the slope. Again, he's giving us a little backstop. Fun way to get the ball back. Get a little view over the next hole. Uh, maybe not the next. It, yeah, the single species of tree I think works really well for just giving you... I don't know. Big views because your your eye's not dragged anywhere by different different species or different shapes. It just all looks like it belongs. So it can work really nicely. Okay, so this one's a more straight away, straight down. What's our scorecard? This feels a hell of a lot longer than three four oh four. Uh it's par four eight four. That will do it. 38 back in. This is wild. Yeah, I don't know if Jeff is streaming now, but he's just started around on it. Oh, stay in. Oh, that's just an awful tee shot. And needed for that not to happen. A great green sight. Is he? Good man. We'll raid him at the end of this. I mean, I just don't have very much to say on this one. Please clear the bunker. Again, though, another really simple green complex. Like, there's not... There's not much going on other than that big slope on the right and a couple of kicker slopes here, but... All sorts of pinning interest here. Do you think looking at it this way it's probably a little flat? Like, might be quite nice to see a bit more variation that way, but we'll take getting away with a four. And actually, given the length of hole, I think we're okay to go with something a little more gentle there. Ah, okay. So side on green makes sense, that's a bit different. Mound at the front is really cool. Which means that different angles are going to matter. Because we don't want to be coming in over it. And therefore also makes sense given the length of hole. Uh, do you want to play driver? Yes, why not? It's great. We had a little look at them around that at the beginning. I think... Wind and elevation and slope probably will balance each other out. I think that should just bring itself back. Not a bad shot. Take that for the front nine. Could have been so much better as well, because it missed awful parts on two and three. Hey, Pat. That's another funky little green site over a quarry. <laughs> feel like the green sites are just going to get more and more entertaining. And that pin is interesting. Oh, okay. I don't think that's the shot I hit. My controller occasionally does this thing where it just doesn't register swings. And then I'll overcompensate. It's fine. This is all fine. Here? 
Oh, I didn't realise it was trying to fade. Whoops. Come on, let's just make a bogey and be out of there. There's in complete hope. That's one of the best bogeys I'll make. Best par 5 on the 11th. Okay, where are we going here? Textbook golf. How we do it? That should be alright. You can see how downwind that gets narrower and narrower. This is a, like, this green just does not need any bunkers. And it's just not an easy par 5 green. Even close. Ah, slow is probably not helping. That's okay, we were going to be short anyway. I'm looking forward to playing that one in a different wind. And that's just such a fun approach shot. Now that one needs to grab. <laughs> that's a fun first part five. A bit more on the back nine. Ooh, is that our next hole? I mean, it feels like... The, yeah. <laughs> the land is getting even more wild. This is quality. What's our depth here? So we're 25 down. Yeah. And that looks like 70 feet. Scale on this is awesome. I think you walk around. We walk around? Yeah, we've got a cart path going round to here and then... Then I guess we walk. Yeah, I'm not too fast. I mean, I just published a course where I forgot to put a bridge on one of the holes. I'm, I'm okay with it. And the same with the like slightly unflattened tea box. There, there are these are minor things. And sit. Mound in front of the green is great. In many ways, these greens are like the complete opposite to the previous course, where there were all sorts of internal contours. Like, I do feel they're a bit flat in places. <laughs> but like on, on the Heisenberg one, there were all sorts of internal contours and that added interest that way. With these ones, there's just like a few really big slopes. And that's all you have to think about. But those big slopes are so cleverly placed. Is this split? No, it's joint fairway. Okay. Okay, so we're having to deal with some slightly flatter land here. This maybe feels a little... I don't want to say too rocky, but... This looks a little less good than some of the other rocky areas. I don't know. Sightline's still great. They're a bit flat in places. They are. Oh. Missed a fairway into another bloody long par 4. With a disconnected green, no less. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm a casualty of the wind more than anything. 
I might like the fairway running down here a bit more, just to give me a bit of a bailout option that isn't laying up miles shorter. Doesn't help that I don't have a four iron. Which is my own fault, but... Love the disconnected green, just 400, 480? 495 yard par 4, par 4, maybe not the one. Although I hit the fairway and you're not saying that, are you? And to be fair, the green is receptive. I mean, I think it, I, I think it can work, just might be a little neater to allow a bit more. Well, that felt like almost a quite sedate hole after the last couple. I wonder where we go next. <laughs> oh. Okay. Definitely drivable, miles uphill. What, what is the play here? Can you run it on? I don't think so. You don't hit driver here, surely. You hit five wood. This is just hilariously good. I so much wild creative stuff. Not really a shot I wanted to leave myself either. Well, that's played pretty well. Yeah, Trades has been ready to publish this for a while. There's a ravine. Might like to see a little more of that ravine. But I guess you need... Uh, do you need the front tee there? I don't know, we're quibbling. Great green sight. This one's got a bit more contour to it. What a green. Oh man, we have needed these contest courses to come out. Oh no. Been a bit of a lull recently. Alright, three holes left. I really hope it just keeps ramping up. Alright, this back nine. Front nine was great. Back nine. Jesus, trade. Back nine has been hilarious. Oh, that... Oh! Oh, wow, we did not mean to go there. Um... This is not where we want to play this from. Alty. That is a good recovery. And that is a scary looking pin. It's actually not that. I, I really hope there's one just over here. Horse front with a bit of a spine running away as well. There's just some wild ideas on here that you wouldn't you, you just wouldn't normally think to do. Oh, and this plays back towards that. Fourth hole. That short little drivable one. Yeah, this is great. Oh, D Dog's playing it as well. He's catching up. Okay, 17. Ah, oh, it's not as wild. A little bit of calm. 
that probably makes sense but for although the green is smaller funkier that's a good little balance Go a little. Oh, no. That's okay. The where this green sits as well is just really nice. Not forced into a too small an area, but just like belongs. It's a cool little piece in the routing because then we go to 18. Which, yeah, okay. Okay, keep ahead of G-Dog, that's all we're doing. Oh damn, he birdied as well. 18. Okay, so here we can just carry, and then a tiny little par 5 green. Let's follow Jeff. Oh, he's gone off that way, okay. Okay, this is doable. Up 43. Oh, not a slow. Didn't want that. Well, this is just... This is not the place. Boom. What a way to end the round. That was just such a fun course. Yeah, they've been... I mean, what a way to start a contest. So, yeah, I mean, where to, where to start with that one? We're going to load up our scorecard and just take a look at the madness. So, I mean, first of all, you've got a number of very long holes on there, particularly long par fours. We've got one, two, three, four... Three par fours pitching in and around the 500 yard mark. Um, some really short par fours, 284, and we have 304 here. Oh, uh, Dan, it, it's well worth going back and watching. You will love what he has put out for you there. Um, yeah, I mean, just so wild, so creative. I thought that back nine was spectacular, particularly the way when the land movement really ramped up, like on the hole in the screenshot, which I want to say is. 13? Um, or 14? One or whatever. Um, 14, because then we had the little par 3, then the par 5. So yeah, that when it when it really ramped up to that level, that was just a quality high point in the round. Um, there's just some very creative green complexes in there. Ways of putting, actually, very uncluttered green complexes. So there's not much around them just fairway and using all of that land movement to just mean that one or two big slopes really mattered um, I thought was really clever um, planting was good understated um, I thought aesthetically it was on point what would I have changed there's a couple of technical little bits like splines and things could be could be straighter or flatter and in points um, what else might I change the odd flat part on a green, there were quite a few which were just dead flat on a green that actually, I'm not saying loads of internal contours, but like gentle slopes I think would have added a little bit more like gentle breaking parts. But beyond that, I mean, it's all just so outweighed by the amount of creativity you can show around that place. Um, just really quality stuff. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching along. Those are our first two publishers. We're going to be back with more of these all throughout December. So yeah, um, stay tuned to the channel and 